You can achieve anything. Oh, you won't believe what just happened. Don't tell me you got the last diet do. Yeah. I love the taste of diet do. What do you want for it? Um. Deal. Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, it tastes that good. Hey, hot shot. Meter's running. When there's a tough job ahead, you can't afford equipment breakdowns or delays. After more than four decades of taking on the tough jobs, low equipment attachments have earned a reputation for answering the bell every time. Our American-made quality stands out for durability, reliability, and toughness. Don't take a chance. When you need high performance day in and day out, ask for the name that always delivers. Low equipment attachments. A man. A man and his truck and his son, who would rather play computer games than go camping. And a valley. And a river. And the stars. And a new convert. The all-new Chevy Silverado, from one generation to the next. Strong for all the roads ahead. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury, because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros, and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Zippo hand warmers, 12 hour reusable and disposable furnaces that keep you fishing longer. Because cold hands bite. Are we ready to see some more eyes? You're going to have to do better than that. Are you ready to see some St. Mary's River walleyes? <laughs> we got some fired up fans here in Sault Ste. Marie today. We've got the Cabela's National Team Champions All-American Top 25 Fish Off today. The guys have been out there since 7 o'clock this morning. They're fishing for a first prize of $30,000 cash and a brand new Ranger boat powered by Evan Rood Motors. Have you ever heard of such a great prize, folks? We are live streaming on www.walleyefederation.com and www.masterswalleyecircuit.com. Welcome, fans at home. Hope you're going to have as much fun as we are. We're filming this also for TV, NBC Sports, and Pursuit Channel. It'll be on Federation Angler TV, 13 weeks of Federation Angler TV. Be in the fourth quarter this year, the first quarter of next year. Carico TV, I want to thank our buddies, Rusty, Kevin, and Randy for photographing, videotaping, out on the water, taking care of our guys, keeping them pumped up, doing a professional job. Can't wait to see what they put together from the St. Mary's River. We have to start by thanking our sponsors. And first of all, I want to bring up here our hostess with the mostest. She does the fantastic job here. She absolutely loves 
Sault Ste. Marie. Big round of applause for Mrs. Linda Holt from the Convention and Visitors Bureau here at Sault Ste. Marie. Thanks, Dan. Well, I couldn't have done it without all you guys here, okay? Let's say that first. First, I'd like to say, without all the fans and all the fun things, we couldn't be here. But I really want to thank Kuwait and Casinos. I want to thank uh, Lighthouse Computers, Subway, MCM Marine. And I don't know where Brenda is, but you guys all know Brenda from Daymakers. We thank her. Mr. Ed, wherever you are, you're the best. And I won't say thank you, because he keeps telling me not to thank him. I keep thanking him because he does such an awesome job. But I also want to say I want to thank you guys for coming in and doing such an awesome, awesome job. It has been the best. The best we've had. And we can even do better, can't we? Absolutely. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I, I wish all the anglers, all 25 of them, the best of luck. Have a great fish day. I'm going fishing. See you later. All right, Cabela's, the world's foremost walleye outfitter. Give them a woo! Ranger boats, don't be a stranger, drive a ranger! Chevy trucks, best trucks on the road. And don't forget, Pepsi! All right, folks, I think we got some guys lining up back here. We're getting kind of ready. I'm going to do a little uh, little fun here, and I'm going to need some help when I get done with this. This is our little song our staff had a little bit of fun with the other night. We wrote this song ourselves. When, we get, when I get done, I'm going to ask why, and I want everybody to repeat to say, because it's in my nature. All right, here we go. I'm headed to Cabela's, hanging with the fellas, going to grab some goods to go to the woods. Redfish in Venice. While I was at the Sioux, sure wish I was a fishing with you. You know why? All right, one more time on three. One, two, three. Because it's in my nature. Thank you, Cabela's. We've had so much fun here. Couldn't do it without our Cabela's corporate staff. Our Cabela's retail staff and all of our Walleye Federation at Masters Walleye Circuit staff. Thank all of you fans for coming out here and having such a great time with us. Are we getting just about ready for some fish? We're getting pretty close. Rusty, how was your trip on the water today, buddy? Did you have a good time out there with these anglers? Yeah, it was just fine. Thanks, Rusty. All right, don't forget... We're going we're gonna to keep uh, talking to these anglers as we go along, and I'm going to remind them all to clean, drain, and dry their boats. We take it very seriously to protect our waterways. We do not want to spread any aquatic invasive species around. These guys know it. We live it. We do it. We want you to do the same. We are never, ever going to stop the spread of those aquatic invasive species, but we can slow it down, and we can teach other people that they are out there, and they are a problem. So be sure to clean, drain, and dry those boats. Let's do that together. On three, ready? One, two, three. Clean, drain, dry. All right. Because it's in my nature. We're having some fun here. All right, I'm looking for some fishermen. Are they lining up? They're getting there. What do you folks think about uh, the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit Tournament? How many of, of you out there were here yesterday? 60 pounds plus for two days, 10 fish. What a fantastic fishery we have showcased here. You know, I, I want to ask a, a very serious and honest question here to you folks. Would you welcome us back again next year? What, Linda? <laughs> We've had such a great time here. We've already talked about some things for next year. The next chance we get to come back to the Sioux. We want to make it walleye week in the Sioux. What do you think of that? 
We'll get some bands playing them during the week, pre-fishing. We'll have some contests. We'll have some more walleye fun, walleye federation style. Why don't we take a look at a few more sponsors up here while we wait for the anglers to get lined up. And I catch my breath, so stay tuned. Go get yourself a hot dog, hamburger. Go buy something at the Cabela's retail tent. We're going to get underway here just shortly. Stay patient with me. Legendary quality. At Ranger, it's an unparalleled commitment to incredible strength. With the industry's only pull truded transom, we don't rely on the upper deck to support the transom and motor. It's a difference so strong, we sliced off this rear deck to show its independence from the transom. From total performance to your peace of mind. Cut open the whole story at rangerstrong.com. At Evinrude, we believe that passion can be built into every engine. We believe in surpassing every quality standard. It starts with dedication to our customers at every step. From a factory in Sturdivant, Wisconsin, Evinrude is delivering the finest outboard engines to the world. At Evinrude, we know that when you believe in what you do, you can achieve anything. When there's a tough job ahead, you can't afford equipment breakdowns or delays. After more than four decades of taking on the tough jobs, low equipment attachments have earned a reputation for answering the bell every time. Our American-made quality stands out for durability, reliability, and toughness. Don't take a chance. When you need high performance day in and day out, ask for the name that always delivers. Low equipment attachments. A man. A man and his truck. And his son, who would rather play computer games than go camping. And a valley. And a river. And the stars. And a new convert. The all-new Chevy Silverado. From one generation to the next. Strong for all the roads ahead. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury, because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros, and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. like we're gone live again we're gonna get this party started are you guys ready 
That ain't good enough. Are you guys ready? We're going to start off with boat number 25, and we're going to go backwards. Don't forget the highest finisher in a Ranger Cup program, the highest finisher driving a Ranger boat in this program is going to get a brand new Ranger boat powered by Evinrude also. So that means we're not only giving $30,000 and a brand new Ranger to first place, we're also giving away another Ranger boat. Powered by Evinrude Motors for these guys to have fun with, continue to fish, take their families fishing. Please take those kids out fishing, folks. Please, so we have a future in this sport. Coming up next, this went out in 25th place with 21 pounds, one ounce. They're boat number 89 from Kent and Andover, Ohio. Mitch Shipman and John Seymour with a five fish limit. How are we doing, gentlemen? How, we, how was your day today? We struggled today. Uh, we actually put four in the box, not five. Uh, but it's a tough day, caught a lot of pike. Our spot changed with the wind, but we managed to scrape together four, so we're okay with it. What does it mean to you to make this top 25 and to become an All-American? Oh, it's huge. We talked about it coming into here, and that was our goal. On day one, we had five pounds. On day two, we set a goal of 15 pounds, and we squeaked in, and we were just elated. Families were happy. A great system here, great community. It's been awesome. Got some people out there at home you'd like to say thank you to? Uh, my family, Annie, Callie, and Timmy. And yourself? Yeah, my family, especially my wife, Donna, supports me, allows me to do this. So thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Your weight today, 8 pounds, 2 ounces, gives you a total of 29 pounds, 3 ounces. Right now, you're in 11th place, gentlemen. Congratulations to you. We, have, we definitely appreciate you coming out here. I hope you have a chance to qualify for next year's Cabela's National Team Championship on the Bay of Green Bay. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Coming up next, went out with 21 pounds, 14 ounces from Andover, Minnesota, and as we go, Illinois, Randy Carroll and Don Olsen. They got three fish in the box today. A couple of friends of mine that have been fishing this MWC for a long time. They've won quite a bit of money from us. They've been team of the year in the Central Division in the past. Don, what does it mean to you to be All-American status top 25? This is really impressive. I, we love the area. We caught a lot of fish. We had a great time. The community has been awesome. It's been a great place. We regret, gladly come back. Randy, fishing's good, friendship's good. You'd come back here, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. I like all those smiling faces. And would you like to say hello to anybody up, up at home? Yeah, I'd like to say hi to my wife. Hi, Annie, and my kids. Donald? Yes, I'm getting married in September. I, my new fiance, Joy Erickson, I love her dearly. And also, I like to, she's, uh, uh, Sponsor, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, today's fish, three fish today for seven pounds, 12 ounces, gives you a total of 29 pounds, 10 ounces. Moves you into 10th place right now. We got about 23 left away. We sure appreciate you guys fishing with us. Give them some St. Mary's love, folks. Don Olson and Randy Carroll. Coming up next, went out 23rd place. From Dafter, Michigan, and Sioux St. Marie, Michigan, Sean and Stanley Bowerman. I got one. Where's the other? Uh, I don't know. Drag him up here. He's over here somewhere. <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. This is a team event. I don't know where he is. Probably hiding in the back. Didn't want to be on stage. <laughs> All right. They, came. they went out with 22 pounds. You got a five fish limit today. You're from here. You're from here, and what do you think about this fishery right at this point? Oh, this is something else up here. I mean, day to day is so different out here fishing, but to put five fish three days in a row, uh, that was impressive for me to do that. So I am um, pretty happy. Anybody out there you want to say thanks to? Uh, no, I gotta look. Everybody. I, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> All right. You your five fish today weigh in at 13 pounds 11 ounces gives you a total of 35 pounds 11 ounces 
Congratulations on making the Cabela's National Team Championship, and I hope we can come back here again. Thank you. Coming up next, went out 22nd place from Bellbrook in Zinnia, Ohio. 22 pounds, 13 ounces, came in with one fish today, Charles Hill and John Hill. Father and son fishing together. What does it mean to you to beat All-American status with your boy? It's been on my bucket list for a while, so I'm just glad I can be here. I think we should call it a net list instead of a bucket list. And yourself, fishing with Dad, I'm sure he had something to do with teaching you how to do this as a kid. Oh, yeah. he's been, We've been doing this ever since I was really little, like five or six years old. It's awesome. Uh, I mean, just getting able to spend time with him in the boat he's taught me everything I know really <laughs> you guys got one fish today weighs one pound 14 ounces for a total of 24 pounds 11 ounces so happy you could come share the stage with us here in Sault Ste. Marie would you come back and fish this event again oh yeah definitely all right gentlemen we sure appreciate you come and give them one more round of applause folks thank you so much be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. On your way home to that next body of water, 21st place, Kenton, Ohio, Bellefontaine, Ohio. John Stalin and Mike Defabaugh <laughs> went out with 22 pounds, 13 ounces. They got one fish today for one pound, one ounce, but that's besides the point. You guys are all Americans, top 25. Yeah, we talked about it this morning. Uh, we was glad to make it this far, and we knew we could only drop a couple places, but we could move up with a big bag, and we swung for the fence. We just forgot to open our eyes. And your thoughts on making this tournament here, and uh, would you come back? Oh, I'd definitely come back. It's been a great experience, and uh, we've learned a lot since we've been out here. These fish change from day to day, sometimes hour to hour, and we just didn't make a good choice today, so we had a great time there. Got somebody at home you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to say hi and thank my wife and uh, my children for putting up with me being gone for a week. And yourself? Uh, I'd like to say hi to my wife and kids in the crowd and my daughter back home. She couldn't make it with me fishing this year, but she made it uh, the last two years to the Nationals with me. Well, we sure appreciate you guys coming. A total of 23 pounds, 6 ounces. Give them a round of applause, folks. John Stalling and Mike Defabaugh. Coming up next, from Hudsonville in Hopkins, Michigan, went out with 23 pounds even, Jim Brent and Todd Connor. They got three fish in the box today. I know you wanted two more, but uh, how does it feel to be up here as a top 25 All-American? Oh, it feels great. Uh, he called me up and he got me back into it. I, I quit the tournaments four years ago and he got me back into it. And I think my wife is going to be mad when I get home because I think I'm coming back again next year. Yeah! <laughs> and uh, thank you for bringing him back. I haven't seen him for a few years. I know. Isn't that great? Todd and I have been friends for years. Went to high school together and everything. And, and um, I want to say thanks uh, to all you people out there. Um, the West Michigan Walleye Club, us guys really did a good effort up here. And um, it was a great time. And I'm supposed to be the master of ceremonies at my niece's wedding today. But I said I'm fishing. <laughs> thank, thank you for sharing your, your husbands and your family members with us. We sure appreciate it. Your three fish today weigh 6 pounds 11 ounces for a total of 29 pounds 11 ounces. Give it up for Jim Brandt and Todd Connor. All right, coming up next, from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, went out with 23 pounds, 2 ounces, Greg Reichman and Norm Thorkelson. And Helper, what's your name, bud? Hunter. Hunter, I should have known that. You were here yesterday, huh? All right. These guys went out with 23, 2 yesterday. They got three fish in the box today. She didn't treat you very well. That yeah, was a tough fish today. We uh, we did the whole tour. We uh, swung for the fence for a couple hours, and uh, we struggled away and got three fish. And uh, had a, we had a good time anyway. 
Well, that's a great thing. You got anybody you want to thank out there? Oh, of course, as you know, uh, to even, even do these tournaments, you need people to take care of things back home. And Grandma and Grandpa are there letting the dog out and doing all the chores. So thank you very much, Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, and we're great to see you here. Uh, of course, my wife, for putting up with the uh, 800 hours of pre-fishing that we do to get ready for these things. And then, of course, you bring her on a nice weekend like this over to Sault Ste. Marie, and you spend three and a half minutes with her. So... Honey, I love you. It's all over today. All right. Oh, no, it's not over today. We're going downtown St. Mary of Sioux River. I just said today. <laughs> yeah. All right, your three fish weigh in today. Five pounds, 10 ounces. You have a total of 28 pounds, 12 ounces. We appreciate you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Congratulations. Top 25 All-Americans. Coming up next, from Wacom in Dubuque, Iowa, went out with 23-7. Give it up for Tommy Scarless and Jeff Lar. Tommy, you wanted to know so bad if you made this cut. Tell us what it means to be All-American Top 25 at the Cabela's National Team Championship. Well, I'm going to tell you what, I've never been an All-American. Jeff, this is his fourth All-American, or he's a four-time All-American, and Yesterday I said my prayers, and I don't think I said all I should have because all I asked God for was to be an All-American. I should have added in that tomorrow when I become an All-American, I want a big bag of fish, but I left that out. So, But, man, I mean, we were, I was sweating bullets in, in, the, in, the, in the line yesterday thinking, man, I hope I, we got enough to make it. And uh, Cabela's is such an awesome organization. They also support the NWT that we, that we fish, and then I also fish, you know, the Master Walleye Circuit. And, to make it into the Cabela's NTC with Evernrude being a headline sponsor for them, that's a big deal to me. And I think tonight that I'm going to celebrate with a Pepsi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy myself. I think we're all going to. Lardog, four-time All-American. First one with your buddy Tommy here. Yeah, I love coming up here and fishing the Sioux. It's great to be a four-time All-American. Uh, I've fished quite a few of them to make it four times, so... Well, it's a great place to fish up here, and I love coming up here. It's my second time up here, and it's a great place to be. You got it. You got anybody uh, out there you want to say thanks? Well, I'd like to say um, to my son and his wife, and uh, they've got a brand new uh, baby granddaughter. So just turn to a grandfather and not say hi to Jalen Joe. And my wife is at home feeding my dog, so I'll say hi to her too. <laughs> Tommy. I just want to say, Michelle, I love you. You're the greatest woman in the world that put up with me and my boys, Jake and Nick. Get ready, boys. We're going to start practicing for deer season coming up. So, All right, four pounds, four ounces gives them a total of 27.11. Let's give it up for Tommy Scarless and Jeff Lar. Thank you. Be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Coming up next. Went out with 24 pounds, 9 ounces from Chesterfield in All Gray, Michigan. Birthday boy, Nate Seferlein and his partner, Jason Kanashevsky. And they got a five fish limit. Happy birthday to you. I appreciate it. That's all I wanted was five fish. And we got our last two in the last five minutes. So there you go. And I actually put my setting out with the 24th of August today. It was my birthday, of course. And let it line out 24 feet, and that's what caught the last fish. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, how you doing, buddy? Good. Birthday boy was on fire today. He caught four out of the five, and he came up big for us today. Well, without further ado, the five fish limit weigh today. 19 pounds, 7 ounces for a total of 44 pounds even. Let's get a couple of them fish out and hold them up for the folks. You want to see some St. Mary's gold? Right there it is, folks. How'd you catch them? How fast? What color? How deep? Uh, Bugsy Blades. Today was uh, the predominant color. Um, earlier in the week, we caught some fish on uh, Smile Blades. 
And where are you located? How far did you drive to find these fish? Um, between 48 and 50 miles every day. That's like 100 miles round trip and uh, a lot of gas money you bought here in the Sioux, isn't it? It's Jay's boat, his gas, so <laughs> I'm good with that. Good thing you can catch fish. I got a Yamaha, so it wasn't that bad. Good thing you can catch fish. Let's give it up for birthday boy Nate Seferline and Jason Kenishewski. Coming up next, went out with 24 pounds, 13 ounces from Shakopee and Pine City, Minnesota. Dwayne Crease Sr. and Tony Kimmeyer, and they got a five fish limit. Great job getting that limit. Yeah, we uh, got 15 fish, uh, five every day. That's what we can ask for. Um, it went really good. I'd like to uh, wish my wife a happy anniversary today for uh, letting me go fishing. So. Uh, happy anniversary and uh, Tony's wife Margie for uh, letting us come up here and uh, have a good time in the Sioux. We had a great time. You guys got a great city up here and uh, the fishery was phenomenal. We had a great time. Yes, sir. What a great time we've had. What are you thinking about? I had a blast. This is the uh, best tournament I've ever done. I had a great time. What's it, what's it mean to be a Cabela's All-American? Yeah, it's a great honor and I'm very proud to be here. He's proud, folks. Five fish limit today for 11 pounds, five ounces. Gives him a total of 36 pounds, two ounces. Congratulations to Dwayne and Tony. Thank you guys so much for coming. We appreciate you. Hope you qualify for next year in Green Bay. Coming up next, went out with 25 pounds, one ounce from Rockford in Granville, Michigan. Bruce Brasser and Mark Van Vliet. Oh, come on, they're from Michigan, folks. Give them some love. They got three fish in the box today. Weighs in at four pounds, 11 ounces. They got a total of 29 pounds, 12 ounces. But you are a Cabela's All-American. Yeah, first time for me. It's really an honor to be a, um, an All-American and to fish with uh, these guys today. It was, it was a great honor. You got something to say? Well, how are you catching these fish? You know, t tell me a good story. We, uh, Mark, yesterday with about 20 minutes left in a day, we were pulling some spinners over weeds in about eight feet of water, and he caught a 27-inch walleye. That was really the highlight of our trip. We had a great week here in the Sioux, and uh, really love it up here. It's a privilege to be a Cabela's NTC All-American. You got anybody you want to thank at home? I'd like to thank my wife Kathy and our three kids, Jessica, Sam, and Ben. Mark and I are dads who got a week of vacation to come fishing, and we just love it up here. And yourself? Yeah, I'd like to thank my family too for uh, allowing me to come here in uh, the city of Sault Ste. Marie. What a, what a what great weather and a great weekend we had. Let's hear it, folks. Bruce Brasser and Mark Van Vliet. Hi, Ma. Hi, Pa. Hi, Jen. Hi, Uncle Jim, Aunt Pat. I got to say it before I forget. I love you all. Coming up next with 25 pounds, 2 ounces. All the way from Casper, Wyoming. Give it up for Rick Walter and Joe Johnson. And they have a five fish limit. Ricky, good job, buddy. Five fish limit, all American status. How you feeling right now? Well, I feel great. You know, we've had a wonderful week up here. Um, we put our time in up here, and, you know, it's a great fishery, great community. Um, you know, Joe hasn't never had the opportunity to be an All-American, so it means a lot to him, and, you know, we're up here enjoying ourselves. Joe, first-time All-American, congratulations. Did you have a good time? Had an awesome time. Enjoyed the whole week. It was wonderful. Um, Got to say hi to Mary Walters, because I didn't the other day. <laughs> so, hi, Mary. Hope we get to come back next year. And uh, how are you doing your fishing out there? What are you doing to, to catch your fish? Well, we were doing something different. Like I was telling Dan this morning, we're actually using mini planer boards and church mini planer boards. And I use a spinning reel. You know, I don't use a line counter because we're fishing real shallow. I mean, you toss it out there. We call it gumping because you toss it out there and you estimate, you know, 20 foot, 15 foot clipping on board and you can cast them boards out away from your boat so you're you know, you ain't bringing in them big boards, counting out lines, so we're actually usually always got line in the water. 
efficient fishing, folks. Give it up for Rick Walter and Joe Johnson. 33 pounds, one ounce total. Three days of fishing. All-American status. You guys, please travel safe on your way back to Wyoming. Hey, I'd just like to uh, give Laura and uh, Cabela's a big hand. You guys for putting on this show so we can actually come and do what we love. So, hi, honey, Mary, Tyke, Johnny, love you. Thank you. Congratulations. Coming up next from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, went out with 25 pounds, 5 ounces, our two-time MWC champions, Joey and Johnny Giuliani. They got one fish in the box today. I, I don't know about you, but your All-American status here for the Cabela's National Team Championship, how does that feel? That's a great, great honor. Uh, myself being a half American, my mother's born on this side. It uh, it means a lot. Johnny, not quite the fishing you wanted, but I know you guys have fun and you're very proud. Oh, we had a great day. I, I caught the only one. But it was it was a blast. The weather was great, and we had uh, great company. So I said, Dan, you guys did a great job. Thank you very much. I want to personally thank you guys for sharing your St. Mary's River with the Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit, the Cabela's National Team Championship, and America right out there. Remember, we might not have won this tournament, but it's still our river. You were baptized here. It might as well be called your river. Your one fish today weighs four pounds, two ounces. You have a total of 29 pounds, seven ounces. Give it up, folks, for Johnny and Joey Giuliani. Families fishing together, and uh, we'll be downtown tonight. Right on, I'm in. <laughs> I'm not buying tonight, but I'll be there. <laughs> he did buy last year. Here you go, Joe. Coming up next, from Wapon and Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, our Escanaba Cabela's National Team Champions, Derek Navis and Corey Sprangle. Spike, we're missing something here. Yeah, we did a little calculation and uh, the difference between where we were sitting and we were out in 12th and you know what last place is going to be after today. It wasn't too much difference. All the money's at the top, so we swung for the fences and uh, came up with nothing. You got 27 pounds, 11 ounces for total. What did you do to get to this point to make yourselves All-American here in this tournament? Oh, I tell you one thing. It was a lot of work out there the last two days. Um, we really had to grind it out. And that was our game plan today, you know, we were going to swing for the fences and um, just couldn't quite put it together. But I tell you one thing, this is my first time being here, an absolutely awesome body of water to fish. Um, I can't wait to come back here. Well, congratulations, gentlemen, All-American status. i got to tell a quick story here about this young man. He fishes the Cabela's National Walleye Tour that Cabela's helped start this year. They've had three tournaments, folks, and he's won two of them. He's leading for Angler of the Year. He's really close in the MWC Angler of the Year. So I want to give a special round of applause for Spike, my buddy Corey Sprangle, and his partner Derek Navis. Congratulations, guys. Coming up next, went out with 28 pounds, four ounces from Uniontown, Ohio, Clayton Allshouse and Sean Miller. There we go. We got us a big in that away. How you doing, Clayton? Good, how you doing? I'm doing great. Look at all the beautiful fans we have here. What a what a great turnout. Oh yeah, it's a good turnout. Uh, you know. It's a, it's unreal. I mean, uh, sit here and fish something like this. That's my first one, I don't know. Pretty awesome. We appreciate it. He's choked up, folks. He can't. Not that he can't talk. He's just a little bit choked up. He's proud. Yourself, John? We had a great time. Uh, the fishing was very nice. Uh, we found some big fish. Not a lot, but we found some big ones. And I uh, want to say hi to my wife and kids, and thanks for letting me come. It's been a great time. Anybody you want to say thanks to? Also, my wife and kids. How you doing? They got one fish. As you can see, it is a very, very nice fish. 
It is seven pounds, one ounce. Gives them a total of 35 pounds, five ounces. How'd you catch it? How fast? What color? How deep? All worm harnesses, uh, you know, some high, some low. Uh, pretty much worked it all week. I don't know. Um, you fishing rocks, weeds? What, what kind of structure are you looking for out there? Rocks, Polly? The deepest part of the lake. Um, 80 back, 1.2 mile an hour. Lake George? Yeah. Let's get that one out and hold up for the folks. Give them some Sault Ste. Marie love, folks. St. Mary's River Gold! We appreciate you guys coming. Congratulations on your All-American status. We have you hold that fish right up over there in front of that NTC banner for the walleye paparazzi. Thank you so much. And be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Yep. All right, coming up next, went out with 29 pounds, 7 ounces from Oneida, Wisconsin, and Akaska, South Dakota. Ryan Dempsey and Chad Schilling. As you can see, they got one fish. Had 29 pounds, 7 ounces yesterday. What does it mean to be a Cabela's All-American, Ryan? Well, it means a lot. Uh, never been here before. Heard how tough it can be at times, so to be standing here, we're proud as heck of where we are. Chad, how'd you guys get here? What are you doing? Where are you doing it? You know, we ran all over this thing. We uh, we do a lot of tournament fishing, and when we got to this river, we got our butts handed to us in practice. It was, uh, we were stumbling. We had actually caught one good fish in practice right up here on a current seam. Um, we actually caught him jigging. We did that for about 10 minutes the first day, and then our trolling motor went down, and we watched every boat go by us catch a fish, and we sat there anchored with no power to our trolling motor. I, uh, I looked into it and I yanked on the wires real hard and I fixed it and I charged him $300 an hour and we fished the rest of the tournament that way. So, um, he, uh, he kicked my butt. We were pulling bottom bouncers with just a plain hook. We changed it up all the time. Doesn't seem like we caught two fish the same way, but uh, I got to say, my, I, uh, so we had our 10th anniversary, me and my wife did on uh, Thursday, and uh, I'm, I'm gone for our 10th. I'm gone for most of them, but... Uh, Shonda kids, I love you guys. I'll be home shortly. It's only a short 19-hour drive. I'll be there quick. Anybody you want to thank at home? Yeah, I'd like to say hi to my beautiful girlfriend, Kim. I know she's at home watching this, so I love you. I'll see you tomorrow night. One fish today, five pounds. Gives them a total of 34 pounds, seven ounces. Hold that fish up. Show the folks what Ryan caught it. He gets to hold it. Congratulations, gentlemen. Ryan Dempsey and Chad Schilling. Coming up next, went out with 30 pounds, 12 ounces from Gypsum in Overland Park, Kansas. Todd Kniper and Troy Hemi. They got three fish in the box today. And I think I said the name right this time. <laughs> what does it mean to be a Cabela's All-American? It's a great feeling. It's the third time feel pretty proud of that so you know we had 13 bites all week caught 12 of them so we had a good time a lot and yourself how, how are you catching them uh like i said yesterday we were just uh pulling worms and, and berkeley gulp really slow that was the key we had to go really slow and and you had to you had to have it in your hand you had to feel it you got anybody out there you want to say thank you to well probably i, I need to thank my wife uh, for letting me come here and you know this is the, the third tournament I fished here and each tournament takes about you know about seven days it, it took about 15 16 hours to get here so thank you Sarah and uh, my little girl Brooke anybody at home you want to thank my wife Stephanie my three kids Lindsay Ty and Morgan thanks for letting me come three fish today for seven pounds 11 ounces gives them a total of 38 pounds seven ounces Thank you guys for fishing with us. We sure appreciate you. Travel safe on your way home and be sure you clean, drain, and dry those boats. Coming up next from St. Joachim and Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Went out with 32 pounds, 9 ounces. Mark Campo and Greg Whitson. Two fish in a box today. 
Cabela's National Team Championship Honor of All-American Status. What does that mean to you? Does that mean we have dual citizenship now? Oh, All-Canada team? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Eh? Eh? <laughs> how are you catching these fish? Where are you catching them? How deep? How fast? What color? We are in Raber Bay jigging jig band jigs, half ounce and five eighths in about eight feet of water, just like we were bass fishing, dropping them straight down one of the finesse minnow and uh, jig it two or three times so they didn't hit the next pole. And when you got them, bang, that was it. Today, there was no bang. Now that's a little different than most of the guys. It sounds like everybody's trolling. How, how did you be figure that out? Well, we jig a lot on the Detroit River and that, and uh, we couldn't catch them trolling, so we figured we'd try jigging somewhere in the weeds and actually we caught some trolling on the outside of the weeds and then uh, the bite stopped so we went into the weeds and started jigging and we were doing better doing that. So folks if you don't like to troll you can go ahead and do some jigging. You got anybody at home you want to thank? I want to thank my wife and kids because I spend a lot of time away from home doing this circuit, a lot of time away from home hunting and the rest of the time I'm at work. And yourself Mark? I'd like to thank my girlfriend the Bean. Give it up for Mark Campbell and Greg Whitson. They got five pounds, 13 ounces today for a total of 38 pounds, six ounces. Right now you're sitting in the top 10 at ninth place. Congratulations. Please clean, drain, and dry those boats. It's an honor. We'll see you at Escanaba. See you at the World Walleye Championship this fall in Escanaba, Michigan. Coming up next, and I know it's going to get loud because these guys are from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. 33 pounds, 15 ounces. Dane and Paul Stanaway. We got a big old box of fish. They got a five fish limit. We're having some fun here, Dane. Oh, how you feeling, buddy? We're feeling pretty good right now. You guys. Put it together three days in a row. How are you fishing your own river? Grinding, grinding rocks, weeds, uh, upstream, inline, planted woods. Anything special? Colors or any any bait? Size bait? What what's the difference here? Actually, one of the keys is we're running uh, offshore planer boards. We're running a, a little trick is we're pulling weeds and rocks right now, and there's a ton of weeds on the surface. And you put a snap weight right behind the line, or right behind the board, about a foot and a half, two feet. And that catches all the weeds. That goes right, keeps your lines running good, and uh, that was probably the key to our success the last three days. Efficient fishing, five fish limit for 20 pounds, 10 ounces. Gives you a total of 54 pounds, nine ounces. They're sitting in second place right now, folks. Second place. You got anybody out there you want to thank? Uh, family, friends. Uh Girlfriends for sure, because putting up with us this week and our families. Uh, let me see. Obviously, Tommy and Lar, Matt and Scott for sure, because they were did everything for us this week. Helped us pre-fish, helped us do everything. Put us put our boat in for us. Oh, they were great. Got some advantages to being at home. You got some people you want to thank. I want to thank Holly, wherever she is. My mom, dad, Scott, Matt, and the rest of our family. I want to thank you two for sharing the St. Mary's River with us. And obviously our community, who is, I've been blessed to be raised here, and uh, everyone's so kind up here, and I'm just lucky, dude. I agree. What an awesome community you guys live in. I want you to take some of these fish over there and get in front of the walleye paparazzi. Show them what your St. Mary's River puts out. One more time for the Stanaways. Coming up next from Mount Vernon, Washington in South Bend, Indiana. Went out with 39 pounds, two ounces. Randall Gaines and Mike Rhodes. They got two fish in the box. How you feeling, Randall? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, we was fishing a real small isolated patch of weeds and we had to hang there all day because we the fish were going to go at some time they might go at nine in the morning they might go at two in the afternoon 
But uh, after pre-fishing them and tournament fishing them for two days, they figured us out. <laughs> <laughs> they figured you out. How long did you spend pre-fishing here? Fifteen days. Fifteen days. You like these people? They're nice people. And the fishery? Fishery's pretty good. You have anybody you want to thank out there? Just my wife. It was her birthday yesterday, and I feel fortunate to be here. And yourself? You know, I, of course, would like to thank my wife, but I'd also like to thank the, uh, TWF uh, for putting on such an extraordinary event and allowing clubs like the Michiana Walleye Association to hold events that allow uh, grassroots anglers to uh, make it here. And that's what it's all about, folks. If you're interested in starting your club, get on the walleyefederation.com. Two fish today, six pounds, six ounces, for a total of 45 pounds, eight ounces. Congratulations to all Americans, Randy and Mike. Thank you for all you do. And travel safe on your way home. Make sure you clean, drain, and dry that boat. We're going to take a quick break here, and then we're going to get down to the top five. Legendary quality. At Ranger, it's an unparalleled commitment to incredible strength. With the industry's only full-truded transom, we don't rely on the upper deck to support the transom and motor. It's a difference so strong, we sliced off this rear deck to show its independence from the transom. From total performance to your peace of mind. Cut open the whole story at rangerstrong.com. At Evinrude, we believe that passion can be built into every engine. We believe in surpassing every quality standard. It starts with dedication to our customers at every step. From a factory in Sturdivant, Wisconsin, Evinrude is delivering the finest outboard engines to the world. At Evinrude, we know that when you believe in what you do, you can achieve anything. Oh, you won't believe what just happened. Don't tell me you got the last diet do. Yeah. I love the taste of diet do. What do you want for it? Um. Deal. Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, it tastes that good. Hey, hot shot. Meter's running. When there's a tough job ahead, you can't afford equipment breakdowns or delays. After more than four decades of taking on the tough jobs, low equipment attachments have earned a reputation for answering the bell every time. Our American-made quality stands out for durability, reliability, and toughness. Don't take a chance. When you need high performance day in and day out, ask for the name that always delivers. Low equipment attachments. A man. A man and his truck and his son, who would rather play computer games than go camping. And a valley. And a river. And the stars. And a new convert. The all-new Chevy Silverado, from one generation to the next. Strong for all the roads ahead. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury, because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros, and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Zip. 
Oppo hand warmers. 12 hour reusable and disposable furnaces that keep you fishing longer. Because cold hands bite. Test, test, there I am. All right, folks, get on the edge of your seat. We're getting down to our top five from yesterday and the day before. This is our third day. We're going to bring up the next team, father and son team from Chessening in New Lothrop, Michigan, Cal and Rick Eustachian. They went out with 42 pounds, 9 ounces on day one. During, oh, come on, man. All right, thanks. I agree. Wash it. Good job. They got a five fish limit. What do you think? All American status fishing with your dad? Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, especially uh, to come up here to Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, this is our favorite place to fish. Uh, best scenery around, even for the 56 miles that we went. Uh, it was beautiful all the way. Dad, all American status fishing with your son. How does that feel? Really good. It's the first time we ever had that opportunity to be up there, you know, top 25, so we really appreciate it. And uh, uh, Kel's a heck of a fisherman. You know, he, little things he really pays attention to, and uh, that's where we're top 25. So. And how were you fishing? How'd you get these fish? Uh, we're pulling spinners over top of rock piles. Uh, I mean, I guess the kind of the rumors out, we were, we were running quite a ways down by Drummond Island, and... Uh, you just had to put your time in. Uh, we got a few bites. Our fish got a lot smaller today. We were getting around a four pound average. These aren't quite there, but uh, we're happy to have five. Five fish limit today. 17 pounds, one ounce gives you a total of 59 pounds, 10 ounces. That's good. That's real good. Well take it. It was a rough day actually to get, uh, we had actually six bites. The last bite came about, uh, before we left about 1.30. So, uh, Appreciate it. Everything up here at uh, Sault Ste. Marie, and I'd like to thank my wife, Margie, and my grandkids. So. Anybody you want to thank, Kel? Oh, yeah, my mom and dad. I mean, they put up with me. They support me a little bit here and there. They let me stay in their camper so I don't have to sleep in the back of my truck, so that's always nice. Uh, got a girlfriend at home, uh, my sister, brother, all the grandkids, our uh, nieces and nephews to me, but uh, uh, and all the family. All right, I'm going to ask you guys to stay right here with me on the stage. We're going to bring up our next team. They are from Bradford and Russell, Pennsylvania. They went out with 45 pounds, 14 ounces. Give it up for Doug Yoey and Charlie Brandt. Oh. Yeah, five fish limit and a nice five fish limit. Dougie, how did you do it? Uh, we went fishing. Dang, rookie. Sorry about that. Where were we? What were we talking about? Oh, you went fishing today? <laughs> yeah, uh, we went down south. Uh, through the week, we had found a bunch of rock piles down there. We had about, oh, 12 rock piles. We just kept playing hopscotch on them, pulling spinners across the tops of them, and it seemed to work out for us. Charlie, all-American status. What does that mean to you as a veteran? It's my second time, and I, I just, I love it. It's really cool. Well, you guys got a five fish limit today. Worth 22 pounds, five ounces for a total, folks, 
of 68 pounds, 3 ounces. You are the new leader. Not for oh, long. <laughs> Yeah. You got anybody you want to thank at home? Yeah, I'd like to thank my wife, Carol, and my family for putting up with me doing all this for all these years. She still puts up with it, so I'm pretty happy. Doug? Uh, first off, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Zippo and uh, Case Cutlery. Without them, we couldn't be out here doing this. And all my friends and family back home, my daughter, my grandbaby, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> well... You guys take these fish right over there in front of the walleye paparazzi for me and have some more fun. Congratulations. Soon as you get done with your pictures, I want you standing right back up here next to me. I'm going to tell you a little bit right now, folks, about that walleye federation and your opportunities for qualifying for the national team championship next year in Green Bay, the last weekend in May. All you have to do is start a club with 12 members, and you get one bid for those 12 members. Qualified, you get insurance for your club, you get some member benefits for with some of our sponsors, and you get that Cabela's National Team Championship paid bid. You could also sign up your local tournaments in your area for side pot tournaments. You only need 10 teams in that side pot. Side pots cost $50 per team. You must be a member of the Walleye Federation. 10 teams and you get a bid on your side pot. So take a look at it on www.walleyefederation.com if you're interested. Come on back up here, guys. You're in the hot seat with the lead. I'm going to call up our next team from Brimley, Michigan, in Sioux, St. Marie, Michigan, Ron Gordon and Brian Schweide Schweiderson. And they got a five fish limit. Five fish limit. Swidey, come on over here, buddy. Don't be scared. How you feeling? Well, feeling pretty good, I guess, for everything that happened. Yeah, they had a tough, I had a call earlier, they had a tough things going on. You made it back in time. You got a great bag of fish. How you feeling, Ronnie? I'm feeling all right. Yeah, we made it. Uh, we got uh, three quarters of the way there, and the motor started to hammer today. So uh, we said, well, let's just go fish. We fished for a couple hours, got our five, chugged back home. They chugged back home. How'd you catch these fish? What'd you catch them on? How fast? What color? How deep? Well, we were boat, same thing as everybody else. We were pulling spinners over rock piles, boat, one, 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 three mile an hour, and natural colors, silvers. They're eating smelt, so we run silver. You got anybody around here you'd like to thank? Absolutely family out here and Patty's been here every morning to see us off bright and early appreciate it Swidey want to thank somebody yeah just my friends and family that have been here for me for I don't know the last two weeks while we were fishing non-stop well folks they need 19 pounds 12 ounces to take the lead a five fish limit weighing in at 19 pounds Nine ounces gives them a total of 68 pounds even. That's good enough right now for second place, Swidey. Congratulations on your All-American status. We're going to have a little fun tonight, aren't we, Ronnie? You bet we are. We've been here with the Masters Walleye Circuit a couple years. We've got a tradition. We're going to go have some fun. in the. These guys are great friends. They stay at the same. They stay at Ronnie's place. Here, don't forget your fish. You don't want them to have that weight, too. Get over there and take some pictures for your family. Coming up next, went out with 51 pounds, 13 ounces. From Warren and Linwood, Michigan, Dennis Lancey and Steve Vandermark with a five fish limit. Oh my goodness gracious. Dennis and Steve, just sit tight for a second. I want to ask you a few questions. How are you feeling? Oh, you can't believe it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm speechless and usually I'm not. <laughs> All right. You got five fish today. 
You guys need 16 pounds, 6 ounces to take the lead. Your five fish limit today weighs 27 pounds, 2 ounces, 78 pounds, 15 ounces. You are the new leaders. You ain't going nowhere. Get back over here. You ain't going. You guys are the leaders. Now we got to know how and why. Uh, just pulling spinners over rock piles, just like they said. We had one spot, and that was it. Um, friend of mine, I know he's out here somewhere, John Craterman. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, there he is. Uh, you know, locals here know more about what's going on than us as we come here. We fine-tune things. We work it. And that's what we did, and, and that's how we got our fish. Every day we go through about a dozen fish, and that's the result. Did you have any special colors, speed, depth? What what was the difference? In the morning, we uh, we caught a lot of nice fish on orange, and Steve had a, a hot lure, a harness going with a copper-colored uh, smiley blade with red beads. And as the sun came up, we switched over to the old Lake Erie Special chartreuse stackers with gold blades and. Uh, we went through. I was really surprised. I was kind of worried about the number of fish that uh, we'd be able to get up. Um, we'd, we'd pull off anywhere from 12, 13 fish a day, and we were kind of worried about it. And started out slow, but we were, we got our double headers, and that's every time we hit a fish, it would be another one on the other side of the boat. So it was a fire drill, and uh, I don't know. I'm just surprised, <laughs> shocked. How far were you traveling to get to these fish? I'm almost out of gas. <laughs> Got anybody you want to thank at home? Yes, I'd like to thank my wife, number one, and uh, I'd like to thank, especially thank Cabela's, Ranger Boats, uh, Yamaha, Lawrence. I mean, uh, I've been doing it a while, and they've been loyal with me and sticking with me, and without their support, I'd never be here today. Steve? Pretty much ditto, and I'd like to thank my wife, too. She's super patient. Took a new job this year, and I'm trying to fish and run all over the United States, and half the time I'm not home, so... She's really taking a beating because I'm not there. She's carrying the whole load. Grab these fish. Lucky you have a good partner filling for you. Grab a hold of these fish. Hold them up for the fans. And I want a big, big love for our new leaders, Dennis Lancey and Steve Vandemark. We don't have a big fish today. Have you guys go right over there in a minute. We're going to... You guys stay right here in the hot seat. Yeah, take that over for them. We'll put them in the water. Folks, we've had over a 1,000 fish caught this week, I believe. We did not even lose 10% here. So that means 90% of these fish are right back out there in the St. Mary's River. Got to thank the intertribal fisheries for taking care of those fish and helping us protect this fishery. Put them right back in there so we can catch them again and we can take these youngsters out there and catch them. Coming up next, went out with 60 pounds, 2 ounces. Have led from wire to wire so far from Spruce, Michigan and Presque Isle, Michigan, Wayne Van Dyke and Eric Birthday Boy Carlson. All right, I, I, sorry guys. I don't want you to see this, because it's, it's close. All right, Wayne, how you feeling? All-American status, leading tournament. What's going on in your mind right now? Actually, I feel kind of sick right now. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Yeah, you made me smile. <laughs> I got him to smile. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, we had a, a tough day, tough bite. Um, bite went south on us for sure. Um, got one, one real nice one, um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's enough. We went out with a great cushion, and man, it's. Uh, I don't know. I think you guys might have us, but 
you guys already know probably. I don't have a clue. That's why I covered it because I want to be as surprised as you are. How are you catching them? How fast? What color? How deep? You know my spiel. Uh, we're doing the same thing the rest of the guys that are up on the top. We're pulling uh, spinners over. Uh, we identified uh, humps that had rocks on them and we had two days of pre-fishing that we did down there last weekend and, and we, we had about 20 humps. We caught fish off of every single one of them. We never went back over one a second time. So it was like, choice of which one you're going to go to, but it was just phenomenal fishing down there. For the last three days before the tournament, we didn't, didn't know what to do. We knew where we were going to go down there. So anyway, uh, um, spinners, Bugsy Blades, um, going with a, with half ounces, going going slow over the, oh, right over the top of the of the of the home. All right, folks, are you ready? I know I am. Let's take a look. They need 18 pounds, 13 ounces to take the lead. Wayne and Eric have 19 pounds, 3 ounces, 79 pounds, 5 ounces for a win. And Cabela's national team champions. All right, congratulations, gentlemen. All right, folks, I'm gonna ask Laura Herbelsheimer, my co-tournament director, to come up here and help me with this. Would you do the honors of handing Wayne and Eric the beautiful Cabela's National Team Championship trophies? Those are beautiful trophies. Congratulations. Give them a big St. Mary's River Sault Ste. Marie round of applause. Cabela's National Team Champions. Cabela's Masters Walleye Circuit Champions. Put it right back on the pedal stool. Ooh, Wayne. Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? I'm pretty emotional. <laughs> I, you know, you know, I've been knocking on the door a few times. It feels good to finish it off. Hey, Eric, happy birthday! <laughs> there couldn't have been a better birthday present. My wife and kids made the drive up because we they're right here, sitting right here, and uh, love them with all my heart. I was uh, couldn't do couldn't do this without them. It's been uh, been a dream. It's been a dream. Anybody you want to thank out there at home? Yes, I'd like to thank all my friends, family at home. My wife is here. I think my, I love you. Thank you for putting up with me. My daughters, Effie and Amy. Um, I'd like to thank my, uh, my mom and dad who are up in heaven for giving me the past fish. Families, come up here, please. Come up and join your champions. Wayne Van Dyke and Eric Carlson, congratulations. Yeah, get right, get get some loving going on, and then we'll get them trophies. We'll get you guys down in front. We'll get the walleye paparazzi to take some more pictures. Cabela's National Team Champions, 2013. Help them out, folks. Give them some round of applause some more. Give me some hooting and hollering. This is what it's all about, folks. I want to thank you, family, for sharing your husbands with us and our wildlife family. And all of you folks that are family members, Thank you so much. As you heard from a lot of them, 
they miss anniversaries, they miss birthdays, they miss weddings. I'm sorry, but they probably hate me. But I sure appreciate you sharing your families with our walleye family. I want to thank everybody here that came out to join us and to share this moment with everybody. Great community. Thank you, Linda Holth, for putting us up here and doing such a wonderful job with your group. Ed, Brenda, the Cabela's, the Cabela's staff, thank you all so much. Our Walleye Federation staff, what a great job. It's been a great time. We've got to thank the sponsors, obviously Cabela's. Ranger Boats, Chevrolet, Evan Rood, and Pepsi. Stick around, folks. We're going to do an awards presentation shortly here. Be sure you go over to the retail store, buy you some Cabela's gear, get a hot dog, get a hamburger, get a soda. We'll be right back. Legendary quality. At Ranger, it's an unparalleled commitment to incredible strength. With the industry's only full truded transom, we don't rely on the upper deck to support the transom and motor. It's a difference so strong, we sliced off this rear deck to show its independence from the transom. From total performance to your peace of mind. Cut open the whole story at rangerstrong.com. At Evinrood, we believe that passion can be built into every engine. We believe in surpassing every quality standard. It starts with dedication to our customers at every step. From a factory in Sturdivant, Wisconsin, Evinrood is delivering the finest outboard engines to the world. At Evinrood, we know that when you believe in what you do, you can achieve anything. When there's a tough job ahead, you can't afford equipment breakdowns or delays. After more than four decades of taking on the tough jobs, low equipment attachments have earned a reputation for answering the bell every time. Our American-made quality stands out for durability, reliability, and toughness. Don't take a chance. When you need high performance day in and day out, ask for the name that always delivers. Low equipment attachments. Oh, you won't believe what just happened. Don't tell me you got the last Diet do. Yeah. I love the taste of Diet do. What do you want for it? Um. Deal. Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, it tastes that good. Hey, hot shot. Meter's running. A man. A man and his truck. And his son, who would rather play computer games than go camping. And a valley. And a river. And the stars. And a new convert. The all-new Chevy Silverado. From one generation to the next. Strong for all the roads ahead. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. 